Hello, this is Patrick at Tower of Mirth. Today I'll be showing you how to do a mid-print filament change using Cura and my Monoprice i3 printer. So right now I have a Cura version 2.3.1 and in order to make this work I have installed an extension which you can download from Thingiverse here. It is called Change Filament at Z Cura Plugin. This is thing number 2077884, and I'll try to put a link to this in the comments down below. Once you've downloaded this Change at Height uh, extension, you will need to install it in the correct extension directory from your Cura installation. And since I'm using Cura 2. Point something something. I jump down here to the instructions which tells you where to put it. And you'll see it says under program files, Cura 2.3, plugins, post processing plugins, slash scripts. Uh, once you have it in there, you restart Cura and it'll be available. So let's start with a model. Uh, this is one that I've printed before uh, and found it really handy. It's a excellent whistle, very loud. You can see it here, it's V29. It's thing number 1179160 and again I'll put a link to it down in the text below the video. But turns out in the state of Oregon you need a whistle on any water going vessel over 11 feet so it's good to have some extra whistles around if you're going to do any paddle boarding or boating and that's what uh, I use it for. So, got your extension, got your model, and into Cura we go. So I've loaded the model here, and heck, you know, I've got a family, I could duplicate that. Maybe I need two, mo two of these uh, whistles. Now in order to do the stop, let's say I want to make the bottom of the whistle red, and the middle of the whistle white, and the top of the whistle black, just so it's easy to see the whistle in any setting. That means I'll be doing two stops. So I go to Extensions, Post Processing, Modify G Code, Add a Script, and Change Filament at Height. That's the extension I just downloaded. So look down here in the bottom right, you can see the height of the actual model. It's 22 millimeters tall. So if I want to divide that roughly into three, I would do a change after seven millimeters and after 14. So we're going to do the first one after 7.0 millimeters. And then uh, we will add another one. First one's at seven, the second one we will do at 14. So now I've got a pause at seven and a pause at 14. Okay. Now the instructions for this device recommend that you print it with 100% infill density, which I've got set there, and it said it worked well at 0.2 millimeter layers. So the rest of the settings don't matter too much because the wall thickness doesn't count if it's 100% infill. So go ahead and we will save to file. We'll call this, there's one I was doing earlier, test filament change two. And then let's get back out and upload that to our printer. So I use Octoprint with mine. If you don't use Octoprint already, I highly recommend it. It's a fantastic way to manage your prints rather than interfacing directly with the printer itself. You do it through a website on your home server. So I'm going to upload this model, test filament change 2. And right now it's loading it onto a Raspberry Pi that is connected to my printer and I'm communicating with that Raspberry Pi over Wi-Fi from my desktop computer. Okay, so it's uploaded here. It says operational, meaning that my printer's connected. I can actually check it from the webcam and that's my printer waiting for commands and we will begin the print. And that's about all that I'm going to do on the desktop because the rest of it I'll handle at the printer side and I'll film that for you when it uh, finishes the first seven millimeters and it's time to swap filaments. Hope you've enjoyed this part of it. Uh, I will get back to you when I've got something to show you.
Okay, so we've successfully printed the first seven millimeters of our whistles. Now it's time to swap out the filaments. As you can see, the extension has moved the print head off to the front left. Although it's kept it hot, it's still at 230 degrees and the bed is still heated to 50 degrees Celsius. So as soon as I swap it out, it'll start right back up. The nice thing about this extension is it has locked the motors in place so that the bed won't shift and the print head won't shift because without that extension with just the pause at Z extension I'd used previously the head would still move around and you would get a misalignment when you went to resume the print so still have to be careful because if you force the uh, head a little bit you could dislodge it so what I like to do is grab it below the fan and then here on the print release and then I use a pair of pliers to work the plastic out Sort of rocking it up, squeezing and rocking it up, hoping that I don't move the print head at all. Okay, we got the yellow off. I don't want to bump anything here. And we're going to swap in some green filament, just because that's what I happen to have a lot of sitting right next to it. I don't like the look of that bend there could queer things a bit so we're going to snip that off and carefully feed this bit down into our print head again grabbing below the print fan squeezing in on the release and pushing it through and i just felt the print head just move a little bit there i hope this matches up well just a little bit of play in there that i'm not pleased with what the Plastics come at the bottom, so uh, I think we are ready to go. And hopefully we didn't misalign it just by that little bit of shifting back and forth. Alright, now we've completed the green layer, and we'll be swapping it out back to the yellow layer. Again, trying to grab it without moving it. Got the green out. Now putting the blue, the uh, yellow back in. It's passing very easily. Okay. And we'll just tell it to resume printing.